Hi, my name is Chris Floriel, Maryville nurse practitioner student. This is my patient for today. Hello, ma'am. My name is Chris Floriel. I'm your nurse practitioner student today, and I'm going to be taking care of you. What brings you in today? Is your nose, I'm, eyes, and throat bothering you? Yes, I have terrible allergies. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be doing a head, ear, eye, neck, and throat assessment on you to see this afternoon. Let me just go wash my hands. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is inspect, and I'm going to be looking at your head, making sure that it's symmetrical, that I don't see any obvious bruising or any uh, missing hair or any Thing abnormal about your scalp making sure that there's no lumps or bumps then I'm going to look at your face making sure that your eyes are symmetrical that there's no drainage in your uh, fluid your nose making sure that it's midline that there's no drainage and looking at your mouth and lips making sure that they're pink moist and not dry and chapped and then i'm going to inspect your ears which look good and then your neck i'm going to take a look and see if there's any swelling or any kind of rash or anything abnormal about your neck no okay so the inspection part of the assessment is over the next thing i'm going to be doing is palpating so i'm just going to kind of feel through your head here Making sure that I don't feel any <clears throat> masses or bumps or anything that would be tender. If you feel anything that's bothering you, let me know. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is palpating for your uh, lymph nodes, looking at your ears, your nose, and your mouth, and your eyes. Okay. some gloves on here okay so the first thing I'm going to be doing is <clears throat> just checking your lymph nodes out so I'm going to go right here the uh, postocular and preocular just palpating to see if I feel anything let me know if anything feels tender I'm going to go to the tonsillary nodes here and then the uh, submandal it's a mental. Okay, no tenderness there. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the um, cervical and then posterior cervical. And if you can turn your head for me, I'd like to feel here the deep cervical and over here to the deep cervical and the superior clavicle. No tenderness, everything feels good. And inferior clavicle. Okay, and then the final ones right back here are the occipital. Okay, no, everything checks out okay there. Any tenderness when I'm assessing you? Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just kind of take a look at your ears. First thing we're going to do is just pull up on the pina and see if there's any tenderness, any tenderness there. Now, if you were a child, I would pull down and, and out instead of up and out. And then I'll do this side over here. Any tenderness there? Okay. All right. Very good. And then I'm going to palpate right here and see if I can feel your uh, esophagus. Very good. And I'm going to go ahead and check your thyroid right here. I'm going to feel right here where the cricoid is. And then if you could, take a swallow for me. Very good. Any pain with that? Very nice. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take a look inside your mouth. So if you could, I'm going to look in there and take a look. Can you open up for me? Very good. Open up. Okay, I'm checking out uh, the, her submucosal, soft palate, hard palate. Go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Say ah. Uh. Looking at the tonsils, which look good. The uvula, stick your tongue up for me and then I'm checking the sub and sublingual glands which look very healthy 
everything looks good in there. I'm just going to feel in here and make sure any tenderness there. Everything's nice and moist and in, inside your mouth, so everything looks good in there. Thank you. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, check your eyes out. All right, so first thing I'd like for you to do is I want to check your cranial nerves three, four, and six. So I'd like for you to look at my finger and follow my finger. Just with your eyes. Very good. Over. Up. Down. In. In. Okay. And come in and we'll check computation. Very good. Does that bother you? Yes. Does? Okay. Yes, it does. Alright, now I'm going to check and just see if you can look straight ahead for me. Yeah, that'd be great. So, look straight ahead, let me look in your eye. Oh, good. Pupil constriction. Good. Again. And the other side. Very good. Thank you very much. Next thing I'm going to do is just take a look in your eyes. Look forward for me again. And I'm going to use my otoscope and I'm just going to take a look and I'm going to be looking at your left eye with my left eye and I've got my otoscope set for zero ophthalmoscope I'm sorry my ophthalmoscope looks straight out for me okay very good and then I'm just going to come over here, my right eye to your right eye. Straight ahead for me. Very good, thank you. Now I'm going to ch change my ophthalmoscope to my other scope. And I'm going to be checking your ears and your <coughs> nose. Okay. So first we're going to check your ears. All right. And I'm just checking the canal, the tympanic membrane. Everything looks nice, pearly and white in there. Everything looks nice and healthy. And the same thing on this side. And I'm um, visualizing the light, and you've got a nice pearly white tympanic membrane in there. So very good on that side. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is look in your nose. So if you could just tilt your head up a little bit for me. And this might be just a little unpleasant, but I'll be right with it. Okay. All right. And it's patent, and everything looks good in there. Painting, pink, moist, and I don't note any congestion. Do you have any drainage at all? No, just sneezes. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is just listen to your uh, carotid uh, pulses and your temporal pulses. Okay. Interesting. I'm listening for breweries and I do not hear any. And I'm feeling for thrills and I do not feel any. Nice, strong, even pulse. Same thing with the temporal pulse. Very good. Having any headaches lately? Yes. Have you? I have migraines. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some hearing tests on you. All right. And so I am going to uh, hit this and put it on the top of your head, and I want you to indicate to me which ear you hear it in stronger if you hear it in both ears at the same time. Do you hear that in both ears? 
both ears or one ear better? More on this ear. More on the left side? Okay, that might indicate that your right side might have a little bit of conduction loss. Okay, that was the Weber test. Now I'm going to perform the Rhine test on you. So I'm going to tap it, place it back here, and you're going to hear it, and then I want you to tell me when it stops, okay? It stops. Okay, tell me when it stops. It stops. Okay, perfect. Very good. Even on both sides, it, your air conduction and your bone conduction are about the same. So that's what it's supposed to be. Same on, we'll try this side. Okay, stop. Yep, very good. You've got really good hearing. I'll be right back. I've got to get my smelling chart, and then we'll be finished with the exam. I want you to look at this chart and cover your left eye and tell me what is the lowest line that you can read. LTFPH. Okay, 2020, very good. Now cover your right eye and same thing. LTFPH. Very good, that's 2020. Take your hand off both and tell me what your lowest row is. LTFPH. Great. Thank you very much. So you're, you have 2020 vision with your eye. Do me a favor and cover, occlude your uh, right ear for me. I'm going to do a whisper test on you, and then we'll be done. Tell me what word I say. 99. Okay. Let's do the other side. Baseball. Very good. Okay. Well, is there any other questions that I can answer for you today? Not that I can think of. All right. Well, thank you very much. You've been an excellent patient. I appreciate your patience. Thank you. Thank you very much.